Hey there, YouTube. So, I wanted to talk about 3D printing. And I did just order a 3D printed pusher axle for my King Hauler Tri Drive build. And uh, I know what to expect. It was only 25 bucks. It's not the greatest looking thing in the world, but I'm hoping I can I can do a little body work on it and smooth it out. But I, I just wanted everybody to know because I, the first time I bought 3D printed stuff, I I had really high hopes and I was very disappointed. Now that we all know 3D printing, you know it's. It is what it is. It's kind of new. The technology hasn't quite caught up to the demand yet, but it's it's headed in the right direction. Um, if you're familiar with any RC kits, you know, like the Tamiya kits, all the plastic is nice and smooth and molded, and and you're not going to get that with 3D printing yet. Now what, I, what I'm showing you here are two items I purchased on eBay 3D printed, and they were cheap. I'm not gonna lie, they weren't weren't very expensive. I think I I got these both through the toys on eBay, the seller the toys, and I just kind of want to do a review on them. It's not you know not really a review, but because there's nothing that they they don't function. They're just for looks. But I wanted to show you what what to expect. Now, I bought this bucket here from home, looks like a Home Depot bucket. The handle doesn't move, it's all printed in place. <clears throat> but if you look around the side, you can see all the little bitty lines, all the, the printing marks. Each layer leaves its little, little groove on it. And this little jug of Rotella oil here is really bad right down here hope you see better <clears throat> if I can get it to focus right it's just I mean look at the handle it's really 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 rough <clears throat> you can see there's lines all up and down it this is how most of the scale accessories that I bought on eBay have been um, I mean, it, I, I'm, I'm a fan of 3D printing, but I'm not a fan of 3D printing. I, I like it. I like the fact that anybody can draw up a design. You can go through Shapeways and print it out, and they'll sell it to you. But the, the, just like any kind of printing or any kind of photography, the, the resolution is going to improve over time. But it, it's been a couple years since this 3D printing thing's kind of blown up. And we haven't really gotten an improvement in resolution. And by resolution, I mean the, the finish, the textures. This should be perfectly smooth. And then you can see there's a lot of a lot of grooves in it. And it works. That works. Both of these pieces are fine for my scale garage. Um, actually, I think I have another thing up here. Can't quite reach it. <laughs> I'll show you this. Uh, 3D printed milk crate. <clears throat> and you can see the, the print pattern in it as well, but it doesn't show it as as obviously because it's not a not a smooth finish. It's not supposed to be a smooth finish. You can see the texture there on the top. That's the, the printing mark, that's as fine as the resolution as it can get. But uh, I, I know this, this bucket here was the first thing I bought, 3D printed, and I was really disappointed with it. I mean, it was like, it was like eight bucks shipped. Wasn't a whole lot, but the, in the picture it looked amazing. I thought the handle moved and all kinds of stuff, and I, I was just disappointed with it. But that's, that's where 3D printing is at at this point in time. Um, it seems like it kind of 3D printing kind of popped up out of nowhere and it's been kind of stagnant. Nothing's changed, nothing's improved, nothing's gotten better. I was watching some videos on YouTube the other day. I, they make an entire 
uh, Peterbilt hood for the King Holler cab. And I watched a video and guy put one on his truck and painted it and the, the fenders you could see this kind of texture. All the, the fenders are kind of curved across and it looked bad. And <laughs> I, 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 I'm hoping, I'm going to try it when I get the pusher axle to do a little sanding and try to, to round out some of these, these edges because on round surfaces like, like the fender is going to be kind of arced on top it's going to be kind of bumpy so I'm, I'm hoping I can get some rough sandpaper smooth it out, layer the primer, sand, layer, sand, layer and try to, try to make it perfectly smooth because I, I would really like to buy the, they have a complete Peterbilt hood and front fender set for the King Hauler. It's like ninety dollars. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the pusher axle and go from there. See if I can smooth it out. Um, I would try it on something like this, but it's just a little, little too small. Plus the sticker is already on it. I don't want to mess it up. Uh, try to peel it off. I don't know what quality graphics they use on there. I don't know if it'll the backing's just gonna disintegrate when you peel it. But uh, anyway, yeah, it was just a quick FYI video. I wanted to to share my thoughts on 3D printing. I think it's time for an improvement in quality, but I haven't seen anything yet. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching.